Hey guys, welcome back to Altcoin Bus Spotlight with me, Leah Heilpern, the show where we speak to entrepreneurs, innovators, and thought leaders in the cryptocurrency and the blockchain space. Joining me today is Dr. Chi, the founder and the CEO of QuarkChain, the company that aims to provide a flexible, scalable, and user-oriented blockchain using sharding technology. If you enjoyed this segment, then don't forget to hit the like button, hit subscribe to support the channel, and also comment below, let us know who you want us to interview next. Chi, welcome to the program. How are you doing today? Hi, it's my great pleasure. Uh, nice to meet you, everybody. Yeah, it's good to meet you. Um, I do want to jump straight in because you guys are doing a lot of interesting stuff. So can you briefly explain to me about QuarkChain and I guess how it's different from other blockchain platforms at the moment? Yes. Um, so uh, QuarkChain, uh, we are building a ne next generation heterogeneous uh, sharding uh, blockchain platform. So the keywords here is uh, heterogeneous sharding. So what is heterogeneous sharding? So first of all, uh, sharding is a very popular word these days. Uh, a lot of projects that uh, they are doing kind of sharding. Uh, basically, sharding is kind of like multi-chain technologies that we have multiple chains, and each chain can uh, host the parts of the uh, transactions so that put them together, we can achieve a large number of transactions per second. And so, uh, for example, Ether 2.0 is working on sharding, and Polkadot is also working on sharding, um, and that's a lot of uh, other projects. So, um, we are working in a specific direction, it's called heterogeneous sharding. Uh, what's that? It's like, actually, every single chain, uh, we can, uh, for example, describe it using uh, three, four combinations um, of um, uh, parameters, like, of uh, their consensus, its consensus, its um, ledger model, its transactional model, and uh, its token economies. So I can describe, using you describe, uh, for example, Bitcoin and Ethereum or any other projects, either using proof, 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 proof of work, proof of stake, or like, for example, for Bitcoin's UTXO, or Ethereum's uh, account base, uh, like ledger model. And so heterogeneous sharding means that each shard can run different uh, co consensus. It can run, for example, one of shard can run proof of work, one of shard and for proof of stake, and so on. And unlike, for example, a lot of projects, for example, Ether 2.0, um, they are actually working towards more like uh, homogeneous sharding, which they say, hey, each shard must be run kind of some specific consensus in order to be able to run in, in a network. So this brings us a lot, a lot of flexibility to, for example, absorb different technology, especially the latest technology in the blockchain world, which we- I'm gonna quickly just jump in. I have a quick question actually, um, because for, for those that don't know, we, we've obviously spoken a lot about sharding, but can you just explain for us what exactly sharding is and then how you guys are using sharding differently? Because before we delve into sharding, I think we've got to get a good understanding of what it is. Yes. Um, so, for a quick description, sharding is basically a uh, multi-chain technologies where each shard you can imagine like uh, a, a single chain uh, that has, has its uh, consensus ledger model and token economies. And since now we see a lot of single chain uh, complexity, now people say, hey, why not we just use multiple chains? It's like highways. So now originally you have one highway and now we have multiple highways, so I put them together and in order to make sure this highway we do not do not collide when we move from one highway to highway, we have some protocol which is kind of something called multi uh, cross chain uh, protocol. And so this is basically what sharding is is doing uh, using a, a hybrid as a description as a, a comparison. Yeah, that's a great description. I think it does sort of break it down, um, and then it makes everything else sort of make a bit more sense. So. In terms of quark chain, can you tell me what are the three main things that you guys are focusing on at the moment? Uh, three major things. So uh, right now we are make, working working on uh, the one hot topic is uh, uh, DeFi. So right now we are working uh, using our sharding technologies and uh, other features like native tokens to project actually how DeFi will look will work in the sharding environment. And this I think this is really um, I think exciting things for us uh, because there is a completely new in this area, in the blockchain area. The second thing is that we are working on uh, the new mainnet, uh, that uh, we are upgrading the mainnet uh, so that we are able to support this 
the, the our vision in the DeFi. And third is that besides this, um, right, another another hot topic these days is actually also highly related to DeFi is staking. And right now we are improving our staking um, so that um, originally, uh, so that it, it will be more friendly and it will be more easier for you you to join. And so this is basically the three biggest focus for our blockchain for uh, right now. Yeah, and you mentioned DeFi there, and you're absolutely right. It is incredibly hot right now. So tell me, what are some of the biggest challenges that you guys see with DeFi, and how are you actually looking to solve this? Yeah, I, actually, uh, DeFi, uh, we all have observed several problems in, in the network, including, for example, a lot of people have concern of security uh, and also high perform a low performance. Uh, in, for example, in Ethereum, we, by paying very high uh, gas, um, other things may, for example, user experience. Like a lot of people complain to me that DeFi is very hard to use. And um, so I think for us, we um, the good things that we have this infrastructure that we are able to build from scratch to solve this problem. So first of all, we we want to address this high trans, uh, transaction fee problem, high gas fee problem, mm -hmm. by using high performance uh, sharding technologies and this is start from the beginning um, and, and right now I think we, the, we I think we believe solve this problem um, um, and you see the transaction fee is really low and from security wise actually we have a lot of several improvements uh, the, the major improvement is to how to improve right now the ERC20 standard uh, because we saw a lot of issues uh, from existing use of existing ERC20 especially for beginners and so we introduced called native token. It's behave like a standard ERC20, or st but at the same time standard Ether, so that people can use it to issue. Uh, the token will be much, much safer. And also with using it can be much easier to use. For example, pay, using it pay, pay as transaction fee, or transfer it will be much safer because the behavior is more standard. Um, so we hope of bringing this, we can also make you easy user to to use, use it much easier uh, for example, some people do not need to figure out or what is why we need ERC20 or ERC and, and ESA together in order to join uh, a DeFi in the in the ether and we had we have this just make it e user say hey you can use any token as a pay transaction fee and then so people don't do not need to concern oh I still need to buy extra for example QKC to do this so all the solution put in together is basically the multi-chain heterogeneous sharding technologies plus our specific design DeFi, DeFi uh, platform plus our multi-native token. I want to stick with DeFi for the minute because we have noticed that a DeFi application called Equalizer has recently launched. So you are one of the advisors. So can you tell me what Equalizer is, what role you guys actually play um, and what makes Equalizer stand out from other projects that are out there? Oh, yes. Um, Equalizer, um, actually, like its name, is focused on, on one direction. It's called uh, Equal. Equal in what? Equal in the uh, governance token distribution. So the problem we see is that a lot of, for example, um, uh, like uh, Uniswap or SushiSwap projects, EMM projects, uh, they now they recently issue, introduced their uh, governance token model, but we saw this a lot of uh, an equal thing happening because they only allow some specific pools uh, to join. So Equalizer is trying to bring a more equal and self-adjusting way to distribute those governance token so that every token, they are born to be, they are born equal in terms of how they are able to obtain this governance token. And besides that, we have also introduced other features. For example, uh, we are going to, the, 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 the Equalizer will uh, set 50% uh, of the trade fee, which is 1.5, uh, uh, actually 0.15% uh, uh, to buy back and burn the uh, governance token. And yeah, everybody is able to freely add its tra trading pairs and also be able to obtain the uh, uh, actually the governance token as long as it contributes the uh, trading volume to the system. And so, and this adjustment is done for every eight hours. Um, so we hope that with this, we are able to uh, encourage more, uh, for example, uh, trading pairs to run 
on the equalizer and also with more co-compares run together, we are hopefully we can make this uh, area to be more uh, prosperity. So you mentioned um, the token there, so let's get a little bit more information on it. So can you tell me more about um, the equalizer governance token distribution model? Yes. Um, so first of all, uh, it is uh, a we, we aim to build this as a community-owned uh, a project. So which means that there's no pre-mine, no pre private sale, and no public sale. Mm -hmm. And so we only have one ten percent uh, for the mining set that is set up for auditing developments, servers, future employees, and we also would, would like to put actually. 10% uh, of this from this debt fund, uh, which is 1% of the who in the first month, which is a, I mean major, majority part because the first month image a lot, will be donated uh, to the Uniswap ecosystem. And um, so that we hope that with this, we can build, promote a healthier uh, DeFi development environment so that we can benefit, mutual benefit the whole ecosystem, not just us, because I, I know there's a lot of debate between between SusiSwap, Uniswap, but I hope this yeah. can be more, I think, healthier, and um, so that we, um, and rather than just, for example, some people said this is a malicious fog or something, a malicious uh, uh, plagiarism, and so, but I think this is something um, that we should be able to improve. and. And, and with that, together with our special self-adjusting equal governance token uh, um, distribution model, um, so that we we uh, we allow every token to, to be able to 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 mine, mine uh, those uh, our uh, equal. That, that's basically our governance token name, equal, and um, so that without any um, mining of some pre cell and other public cell concerns. Okay, so we've spoken a bit about um, Equalizer. So tell us, are there any other DeFi um, projects which we can expect from you guys? Uh, DeFi projects. Um, so we are also, um, right now we are basically focusing in uh, like uh, AMA area. So um, besides Equalizer, uh, we are also interested in another um, I will say big chunk of the of the application in this area is uh, stablecoin, um, basic stable swapping, and actually we have some I would say ex excellent idea in, in in how to make it uh, better compared to the existing products. Um, but right now it's still in a secret mode, uh, so we are right now major is still focusing on equalizer, and um, so but but I believe we will have some a lot of updates of this new idea soon. And this is one. And another is that we already, actually besides DeFi, we also have some, a little bit experiment in terms of um, gaming, decentralized gaming. And actually uh, we have hosted a test round uh, last month and I think we received uh, several uh, well receptions. So uh, we plan to make it more, add more elements inside and put it in the mainnet and so that more people can play. Um, so this is basically our plan. Nice, gaming uh, is huge uh, in this space. So that'll be some really interesting developments for you guys. So just finally then, um, we ask everybody this when they come on their show, just because DeFi is so hot right now, are there any projects other than your own which have caught your eye at the moment? Any other interesting altcoins that you have your eyes on? Uh, altcoins, alt uh, I mean, in the market. Um, yeah, yeah. Any any interesting projects? Any DeFi projects? Anything which you're watching right now? Um, so I think um, actually, I think these days there are a lot of innovations from from device, um, and those projects uh, attracts me. Um, I, for example, I would say Susie Swap is pretty pretty amazing. Uh, I would say attract me. All those, um, I think it. If we found out a, a very uh, good marketplace, but the point is that it's um, a lot of its design is I feel is really immature uh, in terms of, for example, distribution and also uh, token economies. Um, but at least its mechanism is something that really uh, have some innovation inside, um, and this is something really I think um, uh, interesting. And the other projects I'm I'm closely watching. 
um, like for example, a uh, curve, uh, I'm stable. Um, they are also kind of something that we are, have learned a lot uh, in re to, to learn a lot, uh, not only for their offering some some interesting some swapping mechanism, but also we saw there's a lot of ecosystem that is evolving, like for example, there are a lot of forks of curve these days and trying using their code and to uh, apply on different, for example, stable coins or different coins. And um, I think this is something they're really interesting. Um, say, hey, how we are able to use a thing algorithm to make, hopefully to solve these problems and whether there are any space to let to us that we are able to customize the algorithms to address uh, some specific problems. And so this is something that uh, I think uh, we highly focus on. And definitely a lot of other interesting projects like Landing, Land, AVE, um, Compound, a lot of ideas. Actually, every day I just read their codes, read their news, read their users, um, and try this. And I think it's very fun for, for uh, in this area. Yeah, you just mentioned that, you know, try this and try that. Um, I do think it's important, you know, if you're in the space, you're building something or, you know, whether you're um, a media person like myself, it is important just to sort of give everything a go. So Chi, I want to thank you so much. It's been a real pleasure having you on the show and wish you the best of luck with the upcoming developments. Thank you, thank you very much. Um, um, uh, um, yes, uh, thanks for, for the hosting and, and provide uh, those excellent questions.